let us see about uh, use callback so uh, okay if you know use memo use callback is similar to that if you have not seen uh, no use memo i'll recommend you to see that okay maybe uh, my previous session on use memo it would be helpful for you to understand use callback also so in case of you know functions in javascript or objects right they call it as function objects okay so what use callback does it is you specify a dependency in use callback also so if the dependency changes only it will create a new object for the function else it will return the old object old function object you understand so the new function object will be returned by use callback only if the dependencies you specify to use callback changes else it is going to create it is going to return the memoized callback only that's what memoized function object only so it is not going to create a new function object for you since your dependency don't change let's try to understand it with the example so uh, in this case i have uh, it is simple i have two use states input value 1 input value 2 okay and i have created uh, two input elements for this states and in your browser you are seeing input 1 and input 2 with some value so let us create a use callback let us create with with the help of use callback let us create a function now okay use callback so this has to be imported okay and uh, let's and i am not given any uh, so uh, what i am going to do let it be a sample function okay i am just putting it into a sample function inside use callback i am just doing going to do a console log okay and i am going to print print input values i am going to try to print both the input value 1 and input value 2 okay input value 1 plus let me uh, So, uh, so as you can see the difference, I am putting it, putting it input value 1 and after that with colon I am separating it and put input value 2 also, ok. I am putting these two values. So I am just printing these two values, ok. Maybe you can have a space here, ok. and let's call this sample function here so this sample function will be called maybe put it in a label put inside a div okay and have a label and here you call this sample function so this sample function will get call whenever the function component re-renders okay whenever the any state changes this functional component is going to re-render so this sample function will get call let's go to the browser now so every time the refresh happens this should get called because we are calling this sample function ok let's go here so we are seeing that right now if I change this you are seeing the value 1 0 first it was nothing now 1 0 if I change here also it will be 1 1 so uh, as we uh, you saw here the new function as we till now we saw that 
whenever the value changes right whenever the value uh, change the value of input 1 or input 2 a new function object gets created right and the new function object is able to reflect the new values of input 1 and input 2 so this is how it normally happens every time uh, if you have a simple function in your uh, functional component every time the function the functional component gets re-rendered your new function objects gets uh, created and it is able to reflect the changed uh, input uh, changed state in your uh, functional component okay but this can be changed with the help of use callback okay we can restrict the functional uh, the uh, object creation we can say that the new functional object should be created only if the input value 1 changes so uh, when i say like this you are saying to use callback that you create a new functional object only when the input value 1 changes if input value 2 changes you don't care you just return the whole functional object which you created earlier that is what we call memoized to callback all function all functional object gets created so what happens because of this even if you change input value 2 it will be returning your new fun old functional object which will be having the old input value 1 and input value 2 it will not reflect the new input value 2 because this functional object whenever this functional object was created it will be reflecting that input value 1 and input value 2 now let's see that in the browser okay if you have this like this as i told you for 2 to the it will create a new functional object so it will be able to reflect the new change of input 1 F but if you change input 2 okay it will not uh, reflect the new input 2 because for any change for of uh, input value 2 we don't care and we are just the use callback will return the whole functional object the whole functional object will reflect the whole the input 1 and input 2 because we didn't create a new functional object with the new value of input 1 and 2 okay so th that's why even if i change the input 2 it just reflects the old input 2 values because the new functional object get did not get created with the new value of input 2 so this is what the use callback is used for it is used for giving you a memoized to callback memoized functional object by this way we can uh, it may give you a performance benefit so that we are not creating unnecessarily creating functional objects okay hope you understood thank you guys